Hi guys. Uh, I hope everyone's doing really well. I think it's been about three or four weeks since the last video. Uh, not too much been going on really. Um, done a couple of more kit days, keeping touch days with work. Um, uh, we done a little bit to the garden. So yeah, that's it really. Um, I'll I'll do all that at the end and go through my whips and that first. So um, worked a bit on Poppy's blanket, not too much because I'm getting so bored um, of it. Um, but it's you know what it's it's nearly there. Um, but I have actually now run out of one of the colours, so I need to. Um, um, where I work um, in Chelmsford, there actually is their hobby craft opposite. So um, I'll go in there to get the thread. It's only one colour I'm pretty sure I need. And I think I normally get everything off Lakeside Needle Craft, but I think their delivery prices might have gone up, which is fine. Like if you need like a lot of threads, it's still a lot cheaper because you save the money on the price of the threads anyway. But actually, when you only need sort of one or two threads, it's probably not worth it. Um, so I, on the last video, had just done this seal, that was it. So I finished the S off and done the back stitch and then finished T off last night while I was watching Game of Thrones. Uh, finally caught up with that. Love it. But I hadn't to get in, I don't know if anyone else watches Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones but I'm getting a little bit like, bored of it. Kind of seven series and you're still fighting over the Iron Throne. Come on now. You know, it's taken this far to to get, you know, where they are. It's just like, oh. I think this is the penultimate series, so. I'm going to say, my dad's read the books and said they're really good, but, yeah. I just, you kind of, I've put in six seasons now, you know, so I've got to watch the rest. But at the same time, it's kind of like, oh, come on now. Um, so, yeah, so. What about how many have I got? S T U V W X Y Z six. I don't need six. I haven't got six left. That's not too bad. Um. So hopefully I can get that done soon. When I go back to work, I'll have two full days. Hopefully. Um. So which means I get a lunch break. So I might take this then to work because then I can sort of like get a half hour in each each time and actually in half hour with this you can actually you know do a fair amount um, so it's not too bad so yes yeah, so I think it's actually one of the colors I've got I've run out of is to do with these beigey ones um, like and you do like a porpoise and then a walrus a wal I'm gonna go with walrus um and I've got oh you is a porpoise. Oh, is that I've only got that one animal actually to do in that colour left. The other are the dolphins and whales in the greys and blues. I might just fudge it. I might just go through. I didn't realise there's only that one is only that one left and then you can see all the bottom row you don't need to do it so actually I might just go through my threads and, um, and fudge it because it's not even like they're next to each other so the U is going to be uh, over here yeah so, oh, well, that saves that then. That saves me a bit of money. Otherwise, I was just going to go and do all the letters until I'm next back at work. So, anyway, so that's that. That's my quilt. Um, cannot literally wait until this is done. But it will be worth it. It will be worth it. Right, next thing I worked at was my Heaven and Earth. Quite proud of this one because... Do you know what, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but I have actually done quite a bit on it. For me, anyway, I've done quite a bit on it. So this is um, Together We Stand by Jodie Berksmith. 
um, and this is the one that I'm doing for my mum's husband, Ken, uh, who's American. Um, and do you know what I saw on one of the Facebook groups, either Stitch Mania or um, the Friends in the UK one, of it completed. And it looks amazing. But it also looks amazing. What I'm not looking forward to actually is all that the eagle's head, all that white and the greys. But I had checking going like because I've got a chart on my iPad, so when I actually flick through to the page, it's quite a lot of block colours. So um, that part of it should hopefully come across um, quickly. So oh, I didn't say my needle minder is off poppy <laughs> wrong one wrong end um that i got for um no more lost needles on facebook by lisa um and she took a steal from um one of my videos i think it was my first video of poppy um so this is what i've done um I'm just pop that behind it so you can't see it. Through. So actually, I don't know whether you can tell what I have done is filled in a hell of a lot of this. Um down here, up here, I think this bit here, up here, and then work my way down here as well. I've possibly uh, even some of this, I can't remember now. But I'm um, filled in quite a lot up here. So I don't know whether you can actually tell from um, the last video. Because a lot of this is just creams and that. And you can't really, you can sort of make out some gaps. But not too many. So, like for me, I'd, I had done quite a bit on this. Um, I, abs I love working on this. I absolutely love it. I've no idea why. Because it's a pain in the bum. It's really tiny stitches <laughs> and they don't look like nothing but um yeah i don't know i just but i just genuinely love working on it so i try and leave this out permanently now um excuse me i just like burped a little bit there. um and then what i'll do is actually once i've finished off this page i'm just going to go cross country I can't, as much as I love how this looks up, up, up in the block, oh, I've got itchy nose, um, just all these threads and, and, and oh, it just, yeah, no, it, I don't like having to quick keep changing the threads, um, I'd rather just use one colour, carry it on to wherever, but then I will go back to that block and do, you know, the next colour in that block, but then I'll just cut a piece off. And do as much as I can with that thread. So I'll kind of, you know, we'll try and keep it in the blocks, but obviously it's going to look more messy as well. Um, and then this is on my 11 by 17 um, R and R frame. Um, and can't wait until. Christmas, where I think I'm going to ask Michael whether maybe he can get me the Lowry stand for Christmas, or if that's too much, see if like my dad and my sister and brother will perhaps go in together with it, um, and it would just it'd be so much easier. Because at the minute I'm trying to have to like rest it on me and kind of stitch as well, so it's a little bit long-winded, but we'll get there. And then because I realised how boring these videos must be for you. Um, because I'm only showing you two whips all the time and I actually fancy doing something a little bit different I bought out my killer bell one for a change and this is one where actually you know if I didn't do those and just concentrate on this I think I could actually get this done quite quickly because there is not much left on this at all really oh my needle minder on the Hade was uh, again from Lisa and it goes busters because yeah it's me um, so this 
is where I'm at with this. Uh, this is my needle minder that I got gifted by lovely Diane. Um, nice little blingy wow there to go with my killer wows. Um, so what I'd done, actually when I pulled it out, is um, all of this green here and uh, most of the black here, I think. I think maybe the two fins were done, or one fin. So, and then what I've also done is just, I did this row of um, dark grey, so it brings me to the point where I can then start the blue as well and switch between the the um, like sceneries and the water because I'm pretty sure I stopped doing this because uh, I've gone wrong somewhere around here and I can't figure out why or where so I figure I'm just gonna work on this side and work my way around to down that area where um, I'll hopefully be able to see where I've gone wrong and budget and work it out so yeah, so I'm glad I've got that back out and using a um, 11 by 11 R&R frame which I bought because um, I sold some stuff on eBay so I had PayPal money and so this is what I bought. Actually, did I do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Uh, Lakeside Needlecraft I think I bought this from. Um, but yeah, so yeah, like I say, I had PayPal money. Um, and this actually does fit in my wooden frame or stand that I have at the moment. So it's not too bad. I can um, like two hand cross stitch or it's not, you know, it's quite a good size that I can do one hand if I wanted to. But I don't want to. I prefer two hand, but it just depends on it. Um, but yeah, oh my God, if I could get a Lowry stand. It just makes things so much easier. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've been working on at the moment. Um, Poppy's asleep at the minute, so we'll probably now I know I've only got that one animal in that colour. Try and have a look through my threads, or even my big bag of random cheapy threads um, just to see if I can find the colour that matches or um, doesn't look so odd um, you know just so that I can carry it on really um, just drop my clip sorry so yeah um, that's about it really um, what I would like from you guys actually is some advice I've noticed that um, my subscribers hasn't dropped, but the views on my videos has dropped dramatically, kind of like by half. And so I realised it's probably been a bit boring, not really shown that much progress uh, uh, over the last few months, since Poppy really. I blame Poppy. Um, <laughs> but, um, so I will try and add in some extra whips you know work on some other stuff even if she's showing a little bit of progress it's at least showing you some more stuff and some different stuff as well um i understand that they've probably my videos have been a little bit depressing um uh, with all my illnesses <laughs> and um my complaining about money probably um but we're on the um you know we're, we're out of that i think at the moment until i get my operation anyway um so what i'd like is if there's anything that you think i can do obviously i want to make these videos enjoyable for you and i'm assuming some people aren't enjoying them and that's why they've stopped watching so if there's anything that i can do to make these more enjoyable for you you know let me know um any bit of criticism or advice or anything like that welcome um but yeah that's about it really there's not really been too i say too much going on we do my kit days um probably won't do any for a while now i've got five left um out of the ten i don't have to do all ten if i don't want to but obviously it's 
you know, there's money in it. So um, it helps me get back into that routine, give Mike all day with Poppy or my um, my mum or my dad, whoever's looking after her. Gives them sort of a bit of, not practice, but a bit like a practice run, I suppose, when I do return to work. Um, but I'm probably going to save them for August, middle to end of August, so I get paid them in September. Because come September, I go back probably on the 17th. Looks like my shift pattern has been agreed. I had to negotiate and extend my um, Friday and Saturday nights. But, um, which hopefully won't be too much of a problem. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so I'll go back on the 17th of September. So that means... I then have to tell the government that I no longer then need the maternity allowance. Um, but then that does mean for probably five weeks or so, then I'm not getting paid. I'm not having any money come in other than Michael's money that he sends to me. And obviously that's like half my bills. So, and then I've got petrol as well. So September is going to be a fun month. <laughs> But then come October, because of when I do start, I should get then like pretty much a full wage in October, a full month wage. Um, so it shouldn't be too bad. Although I did work out actually earlier, when I was in my head thinking, oh, what should I say in my video? Um, that I've only got October, November's wages, and that and it's Christmas. So I've got like two wages to get Christmas presents. It's like Papa's first Christmas. Then after Christmas is her birthday. And then that, after that, it's like six months to the wedding. It's just like, oh. Just like, I'd like just a little bit of time where I've not got nothing to save up for. It'd be amazing. But um, there's always something, isn't there? Always. It's always somebody's Christmas or birthday or something like that. Um, so, yeah. But that should be my my. I'm really lucky in that my dad has offered to help us out, so I've, you know, I've asked that if I could borrow some money, especially to help pay with the bills and petrol and that, and he's fine. So that that's fine. That takes a lot of the stress out of it. Um. But that's about it, really. Yeah. I have started reading a new book. Michael bought me a new book for anyone that likes um, crime novels. This author, it's amazing, Karen Slaughter, this is, oh I can't see now, but I think, I'm just looking at a bookcase, I think about maybe book 12 or 13, and I love it because it's um, a series of books, so it has the same detective all the way through, every now and again she should bring out a book like this one here, it isn't the normal characters. But what I did notice is that she, when she first started, she'd done three books with um, the same characters. And then the fourth book was a completely different character. And I was like, what the hell is this? You know, I might have even gone through this before in a, in a previous video. But, you know, because you're so used to, like, those characters, aren't you? Like, I am. Anyway, I love reading the book that's a series because I get so involved in the characters that I'm like, at the end of the book, I'm like, I always want to know what happened next. Um... And then, yeah, but then a few, then go back to the normal characters uh, by book five and six or seven. And then um, the, the new characters then come in into the mix with the original characters. So it all like comes together. So I don't know whether this is what's going to happen with these books. They're all set in Atlanta, Georgia. And they're all police officers and stuff like that. So it makes sense that eventually they would all, you know, come together. I'm just hoping she doesn't kill off any, like, of the original characters. Because I really like... There's, there's two particular characters that have got together, like, as a couple. And I love them. I love them. And I just don't want any of them to die. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. That's it. Um, I think what I will do is, like I say, I'll start on some other, not new whips, but perhaps bring out some older whips. So I've got some which I was thinking about actually doing. Um, like I've got one that's like a monthly calendar 
like a farmyard scenes. So, and I've done most of them actually. And I thought, well, if I haven't got much time to backstitch one of those little mumps, probably wouldn't take that long. So I might just do something like that quickly, you know, if I know I'm probably going to sleep, say, for about half an hour, I'm not necessarily going to get much time in. Um, yeah, just whack out, whack out a bit of backstitch on, on something, and at least it's a little bit of progress on something. And it means I can show you something different as well. You're not just looking at the same heaven and earth, which looks like not a whole lot's going on, and Poppy's blanket, which, let's face it, you know, isn't very... Um, you know, isn't a complicated piece that is, you know, um, reveals itself something new each time. If that makes sense, you know, you're just basically looking at a different letter each month. So yeah, so I'm rambling now, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to upload this video. Probably be ready, hopefully this evening. Um, try and maybe see if I can find another colour so I can fudge the letter U. And then I've got the whole day afternoon, which I'm at some point maybe go to my dad's, um, pick up my nephew from nursery, and maybe go to a park. Because actually, it's a bit windy out there, but there is a cloudy blue sky. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we might take, perhaps take him to the park or something. So, I hope you all have a good August. Um, I don't know whether... I'll try and get a video in by the end of August. We do go away in the second week of September. Might be after September, might be middle of September, something like that. And then I'm back at work, so it'll be on a rest day. Um, back at work. I kind of want to go to work, but I thought I would be bored ha having all this time off. Oh, really not. Like... I'll quite happily just go like two days a week. <laughs> if, I, if I didn't now have all this debt from being off for so long, um, yeah, I could just quite happily just, just maybe return. What I need to do is win the lottery. That's what I need to do. Um, so yeah, so I'm sorry, I keep looking in the garden because I keep seeing stuff flapping about, but actually it's just my washing on the line. But you need know, to just see it at the corner of your eye and like, oh, well, I know it's washing. Oh. I know it's washing. Oh, I know it's washing again. Um, so yeah. So I'm gonna go make up tea, try on a coat, fudge you, upload this video, and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.